G'day, legends. Three guesses where I am this morning. I'm either in Hawaii, Florida or Montana. What do you reckon? There's something truly magical about being in the forest when it's snowing. Feels like we're a million miles from nowhere out here. Montana is a picture postcard state year round, but its winter vistas are awesome. I've come here to capture this pristine winter wilderness. Montana is truly America's winter wonderland. White capped mountains, snow covered forests, and wide open spaces. Look at this joint out here, would you? Montana. No wonder they call it the Big Sky State. Have a look at this. I'm here in Highlight Canyon in the Gallatin Mountain Range. But the powder is just gorgeous on my lens. Nothing reflects the light better. When you're shooting in the snow, you've got to be really careful. Because there's so much of this fluffy white stuff around, the camera reads it and the shots look really dark on screen. So what you have to do, you have to overexpose for that and look in the camera and make sure you turn the metre back a little bit so it lightens the frame up. I love how the snow and fog drape these gorgeous mountain tops. These snowy mountains are stunning, but it's the ice, not the snow, that I want to capture today. And getting up right on top of the ice seems like the best way to do it. We're going to go ice climbing to the top of those frozen waterfalls to get a really unique perspective. Straight away, I spot a frozen fall just 20 yards away. That is so beautiful. These formations are melting and refreezing right in front of my lens. And the hues of blue and turquoise in the ice are absolutely breathtaking. Just like that, I found my shot. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And this is the angle that I like. It's shooting from within the waterfall looking back out. You can hear that waterfall just gently trickle down behind the frozen icicles. And it's these thoughts and feelings that I try to capture when I'm pressing the shutter. It's not only just the shot, it's all the other senses that go into it. You know, you smell that beautiful cold mountain air coming through your lungs. It's unreal. Magic. Gear in here somewhere. I'm in Glacier National Park in Montana. I have a million acres of this beautiful joint. Yeah, I've been to Glacier a couple of times, but it's been in the summertime. It's actually my first winter shoot here, and it's a completely different vibe. I love it. It's very quiet. There's fresh snow on the ground, and not too many buggers around. This place is epic. Two dozen glaciers and 760 lakes set against the majestic Rocky Mountains. Some of them saw more than 10,000 feet. So I'm at a place called Lake McDonald, and actually connects to the, or pretty close to the Canadian border, about 50 miles from the Canadian border. The water in Lake McDonald is pure snow melt from the surrounding mountains. I've heard when it's calm, the surface reflects them like a giant mirror. I'm going to show you how shooting in different light can dramatically improve your photos. It's one of my biggest tips. Out here in Glacier National Park this morning in Montana. Four o'clock in the morning, you get up early to get that beautiful morning light. 
I get most of my gallery shots during sunrise and sunset. Neither last for more than a few minutes. So it's critical that snow and fog aren't in the mix this morning. Straight away I frame up a wide shot of the shoreline. Most people would completely avoid shooting before dawn, but I love the quiet feel of this blue light. You only get it 30 minutes before sunrise. As the sky brightens, the colour and mood around the lake shift again, and I'm right on top of it. Keep your hair on. Look at the sky out there just opening up for us. These magnificent you know, pinks and greys. The whole scene's just changing right in front of my eyes. Prime time to shoot right now. I really want to demonstrate just how different this one location can look over the course of just 12 hours. In winter out here, it's just so beautiful. I've just taken one gallery shot of the sky opening up at dawn. Look at these beautiful pinks and purples. It's like a painting. I used a really wide-angle lens to drag the clouds to the middle of the frame. The magic early morning light is nearly gone. And it's not even 7 a.m. All right, we better get this going. Luckily, I spy another ripper shot just in time. Just look at those beautiful, perfect reflections over there. It's like an abstract black and white shot, but it's in colour. In a big sweeping landscape like Glacier, a lot of photographers attempted to frame up really wide shots. But sometimes tighter, abstract shots reflect the true spirit of a place. And to even make the shot even more abstract, I've put it on a long shutter exposure, a second, and I'm going to drag the camera down when I take the shot. So exposing now and dragging it down. And I drag the camera down with the vertical lines of the shot. If I would have moved it left to right, it would have just been a mess. And you play around with a few of these, and you might just get one right. This is one of my favourite challenges as a photographer, using my camera to transform the natural world into abstract art. There's so much beauty, I just don't know where to point the camera. That light is just stunning. I'm so glad I decided to stick around Lake McDonald until dusk. Skipping a sunset like this would be a crime. This is why I love Montana's winter landscapes. <laughs>